drawing for you. Today, we are going to be drawing the Grinch who stole Christmas. Um, we're drawing him, one, because it's December. And most people um, have read the Grinch story or watched the movies. Uh, but two, next Wednesday at 3.30, we at MGL Library are going to be celebrating our own Grinchmas. Um, we're going to have a story time. We're going to have snacks and games. Um, and I've heard that the Grinch may actually show up. So be there at 3.30 on Wednesday if you want to go ahead and meet Mr. Grinch and have a good time. So for this little drawing, all you're going to need is a piece of paper, some pencils, and then of course for coloring, whatever you like to color with. I have crayons here, but it's up to you, whatever you feel like. Um, our paper is going to be vertical, meaning up and down. And we're going to start with his grin, pretty wide, and about halfway down the page on either side, we're going to do two curves, and then a diagonal going down and in, and down and in. Okay, Ooh, hopefully you can see that with the shadow. And two little lines going up for top part of his head. And then we're going to do the little fuzzy part of his hat. It's just going to be these little curving shapes. Little hippity hops. Across the top of his head. All right. And of course, the nice thing about pencils, if you mess up or you want to change your lines, you can always erase. All right, now he's going to have a very skinny neck, which are just two little vertical lines. Going down, I'm going to do a little curve. This is where his collar is going to be. And I'm just doing the same pattern I did for the hat because it's a fuzzy collar. So it's just these little hippity hops, these little curves going around. And he's got very skinny shoulders. All of Dr. Seuss's characters pretty much have big, big, big smiles, but skinny necks and skinny shoulders. All right. Are you ready for the Grinch's awful grin? I'm going to start with a curve, same as this one, on the inside of both of these sides of the face, and a huge curve going down and across. Huge curve, huge curve going down and across. All right. Do a little line going up the middle. Burp. And for his nose, he's got a really small nose. It's sort of like an upside down Hershey's kiss. Curve across, in, and down. And I'm just going to use my pencil, pressing really hard, make kind of a shaded dark um, highlight right there for the top of the nose. All right, now. His eyes are going to be right here on either side of where his nose is, and they are facing down in the middle to show that he's mean. His heart has not grown yet. So he's smiling, but it's not a nice smile. So to start with that, we're drawing two diagonals going in towards the middle. These are going to be his eyebrows. I'm curving up a little bit, and I'm curving, curving over a little bit. See how I curved up in the middle, and then over here, curve up in the middle. Curve over here. These are gonna be his eyebrows. We'll add a little bit more texture to them in a minute. But for his eyes, they're gonna be two pretty big semicircles on either side. Try to make them as even as you can, but it's it's tough to make things just perfectly symmetrical. So it's okay if they're not. Oh, he already looks really, really scary, really mean. I'm so glad his heart grows. And to go ahead and give him pupils, just draw two circles. Try to make them about the same size. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in most of that one in dark. Dur, 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 dur. So I don't get too scared by my Grinch. I'm getting a little scared by him. He's pretty grouchy. Yeah, there we go. we got a grouchy Grinch right here. Dur, 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 dur. All right, for his eyebrows to have a bit of texture, just thickening up this top part. And if you want, you can have little curves going out because he's a very fuzzy guy when you're coloring him if you want to keep him green like he is in the book 
um, you might want to add a little bit of fuzz like what I'm doing with the eyebrows. Just little lines that you can show the edges of to make it look fuzzy. You certainly don't have to do that, but you're welcome to. All right, next for the top of his hat, we're just going to draw a line going up. And since I'm at the edge of my paper right here, I'm going to leave that blank and go up and in on either side. And for the tassel, I'm going to do a diagonal going out and another one going in so where they come to a point like that. And the little pom-pom here, just doing my hippity hops, burp, burp. same texture, same texture, same texture. And this is just a general one way you can draw the Grinch. There's lots of different ways you can draw him. All right, I just want to show you guys a real quick trick for coloring something fuzzy or something that's not the exact color of the colors you had. And then I'll let y'all go ahead and finish up your own Grinches. And I would love to see pictures of your artwork either online or you want to come on into the library and check it out. That would be cool. So what I do when I'm doing somebody fuzzy or any kind of fuzzy texture is I take little, little teeny tiny lines with whatever color I'm using and I lay them down next to each other. Hopefully y'all can see that. Okay, there we go. Lay them down next to each other and try to keep them about the same length. Notice how I'm making mine kind of go out from the middle of his face because most fuzzy creatures, the Grinch included, their hair comes out from the middle of their face. So I'm just making him look fuzzy, creating that nice fur texture going on. And if you don't like the fuzzy texture, feel free to color him however you want. It's your Grinch. You get to decide. But if you get your fur texture to where you kind of like it, I'm going to try to rush so you don't have to sit and wait for me here. Once it's generally how you like it, I can keep filling it in. Um, you can take a lighter color, like I'm doing a green yellow, and I'm filling in the spaces in between because the Grinch is actually a very light green, but not quite yellowy green. So mixing this dark green with the yellow green helps him look a little bit more like the Grinch in the story. And as you go, you can obviously make it a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. Um, it's a little harder to make it lighter with colored or crayons, but you can definitely do that with colored pencils. So yeah, I'm gonna keep coloring for the next couple of minutes, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed drawing with me. Don't forget to be awesome and have a lovely Grinchmas.